Hi, my name is Pierce Jens with Baratza Support. Today I'm going to show you how to recalibrate a conical burr grinder. Recalibration is designed to be used in our factory to level out the burr touch time between grinders. Due to manufacturing tolerances, there are slight variations between grinders. We use the calibration screw to standardize the burr touch time of our units. Most people who find this guide find it erroneously. Please, if you haven't already, follow our Troubleshoot a Grind Quality Issue video on YouTube or our PDF guide on the Support Troubleshooting section of our website. If you have an issue, a Grind Quality Issue, that popped up overnight, this guide will not resolve your problem. If you have an older grinder and you've noticed a fade in your fine settings or core settings, then recalibration is worth a shot before you change the verse. Here we go. Rotate your hopper counterclockwise until it stops and lift it off to remove it. Lift off and remove your rubber bean gasket. Lift out and remove your upper ring burr. Remove your grounds bin. Grab the knob on the side and pull it off to remove it. Okay, now we have all the accessories off of the grinder. We can go ahead and take the casing off. We're going to lay the grinder on the side and use a flathead screwdriver to pry up under the casing and also pulling up on the top at the same time. Once all the snap clips on the casing are loosened, you can go ahead and pull off the casing. Now that the casing is removed, we can go ahead and adjust the calibration screw of the grinder. I'm going to go ahead and click the adjustment ring a little bit clockwise to make the calibration windows more visible. We have to remember at the end of calibration to click this adjustment ring all the way counterclockwise. You can see that the calibration screw, this number zero Phillips screw, is in the right side of the very left hand window. The way the calibration ring works is as you twist the two parts closer together, the burr, upper burr becomes closer to the lower burr. When the screw is in the left window, it is as far from the lower burr as the calibration ring will allow. When the screw is in the right window, it, the upper burr is as close to the lower burr as the calibration ring will allow. Right now, this grinder is calibrated coarse. We can calibrate it a little bit finer. Go ahead and remove the number zero Phillips screw. This is a very small screw. Please do this in a clean working environment. With the screw removed, hold the base white ring with two fingers, grab the black ring with two fingers, and rotate. I can see while the black ring is rotating that the two holes that the screw may thread into are shifting to the right in the windows. You must be able to see both of these holes. If you calibrate it so that the right hole is beyond the right edge of the right window, then the rings will separate and your calibration will be lost. I'm going to calibrate this unit as fine as possible so the right hole is on the right edge of the right window. Now that you've finished your calibrating the grinder, we can go ahead and reassemble the machine. Get your outer casing and start sliding it on. When sliding on the casing, it may get caught up on the knob, excuse me, the post for the knob of the switch on the side. Make sure that your casing clears over that. Once it is most of the way on, 
you can go ahead and press down firmly on the top and it will snap the four clips into place. We can go ahead and put in our upper burr. Remember, your black clicking adjustment ring must be all the way counterclockwise for the upper burr to install. Make sure it's all the way counterclockwise. Install your upper burr with the red dot towards the front of the machine at about the five o'clock position. It will line up with a square rectangular cutout in the adjustment ring. Install your rubber bean gasket. Install the hopper. Install your ground coffee bin. And do not forget to install the knob on the side. Happy grinding.